guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope everyone's doing really well. Today I just want to bring you along with me as I sort through my daughter's wardrobe. I have brought it into mine and Ben's bedroom because it's just easier. She was playing in her room and it just made more sense. So basically, as you can see, she's got a lot of clothes, but she's got a lot of uniform that also needs to go in a wardrobe. And she's also got a lot of clothes that either don't fit her or, you know, yeah, well... There's much more than this in the wash. And I can, yeah, I've been trying to get on top of it for the last, like, two weeks because she, every time she wears an outfit, she tucks another one on, takes that off if she gets something slightly down her, then puts another one on. I mean, yeah, it's just crazy. Here she is. There we are. Um, as you can see, she doesn't like it when I sort through stuff because she doesn't know what I'm keeping or throwing. So she sort of sits and waits for me to figure out what I'm actually keeping or throwing. It, then there were Halloween tops. And then I'm going through some Christmas bits here to see if they'd still fit for this coming Christmas. Here are brand new Christmas leggings that have never been worn. As I say, you buy so much stuff, it gets shoved in the wardrobe and then you never wear it anyway. I would also like to mention, guys, that while I'm doing this, I was supposed to upload a video yesterday starting a giveaway for reaching 1,300 subscribers. Now, I have lost the footage of where I've, you know, done that video of trying to do the giveaway. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it in this video. So if anyone is subscribed to my YouTube channel, likes my content... And if they leave me a comment in the comment box down below, just saying I've entered, done or something so I know that you've entered the giveaway, then what I'll do is in a week or two's time, I'll then draw it and then the person that wins will get a box. At the moment, I've got a bit of a random thing of like perfume, chocolate, you know, things for like beauty, thing, all things like that. So if you are interested in any of them items, please let me know. It will be, like I said, a week to two weeks time, roughly. It won't be like bang on a week or bang on two weeks. I'll just do it whenever I think that everyone's had chance to enter the giveaway and then I'll then do it fairly at the end for you all to see. But yeah, so if you are interested in the giveaway, guys, please make sure that you use the comment box down below to enter. But anyway, here I am. I've just disappeared. I think what I was doing is putting all the clothes and that back in my daughter's bedroom. So obviously, as you all know, it gets a bit overwhelming when you're trying to sort through stuff and you sort it through that and then you've got more stuff to sort and it's just not there or you can't find what you're looking for. It's just so confusing. But yeah, I did take my time to sort of go through this stuff them shorts I did ask Skylar to try on because yeah I didn't know if they'd fit doing them on bloody screen I had to tell a bugger off because you know <laughs> she was it trying to strip down in front of the screen as you can see they do fit because I'm currently folding them up and then putting a top on that matches with it I always find that doing stuff like this can be quite daunting and I want you to know that you know once you've started, the cat's out the bag, you've got to just crack on with it and do it. Like, I look at it and go, no, not today, no, not today. And then I'll go in the wardrobe, I'll randomly just grab everything that I can, put it all over a bed or something, and then just work my way through it. I mean, you guys probably see this video for under 10 minutes, but I can assure you it was much longer than 10 minutes. I think it ended up being rather about an hour I mean, you know, it just takes time, doesn't it, for do all that sort of caper. But here I am just sorting all through the school uniform now, taking all that most that bulky packaging off, making sure it's all hung nicely. I will then, after a while, go into doing it, like, you know, labelling and everything. I'll start labelling probably a week or two before she goes back. So I don't worry or stress about that now. I just make sure it's all hanging up nicely. And then I'll get either the ironing labels or I'll get some like personalised ones which you can just stick onto it, you know, the tags in the uniform. But yeah, I didn't realise that some of these shirts, when it said that it is easy on, it's because they're velcroed. Now, I don't think I ordered them, but obviously if that's what they've if that's 
just what they've got, that's just what they've got and that's what they've sent me. I mean, I can't see it being that much of an issue, you know. She has only seven, so it'd help with her, but she can do buttons, so here I am showing you. Hope everyone's doing okay anyway. It is the next day of when I started doing the voice recording of this, because obviously, I don't know if any of you did see, but I had an emergency last night, so obviously I couldn't carry on editing and everything else, but you'll find out about that in another video anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, so here's me just finishing hanging up all the bits and bobs that I need to to get it all sorted and organised. She got about three quarters of a black bin bag full of clothes in the end that needed to go to the charity shop. And then she also had like loads of shoes, loads of like coats from like jillies to like she even had pairs of vans and that that were going because... She probably wore a couple of times and that was it. You know, you buy so much for these kids. <laughs> Here she is with a red nose, bless her. But yeah, you buy so much for your kids and half the time it's just not needed at all. But we still go out and we do it because, you know, it's it's what we do as parents. I don't know where I've gone there, sorry. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I was just mainly organising it because there was just no room for anything. And I was, like, finding myself shoving everything up in a corner and hoping for the best every time I put clothes away. Now, you know your kids got too much clothes, if that's what you've got to do, and half of them, they weren't, don't get me wrong, they weren't tatty as such, but they weren't, like, best clothes, if you know what I'm saying. But, yeah, so I just decided to get it all done and out of the way and done with. The next day, I actually sorted through all the cupboards in the living room got rid of loads of, like toys and all that sort of stuff you know I did really really well with it to be fair but I think I've already done a short on that and I've showed you like what and what was said sort of thing like about how many bin bags and everything that was done um but yeah I don't know where I disappeared to here it's basically just me talking to you with no picture in there do apologize um but yeah like I said yesterday, it was just such a hard day. I mean, from the moment I woke up, do you know when you you wake up in the morning and you just know it's going to be one of them days? I felt like it yesterday. And when I went work, I was like, oh, it's all right. I'm having an all right day. Everything's going to plan. Yeah, it's not too bad, blah, blah, blah. And as the day went on, it just progressively got worse and worse and worse to the point that at half one this morning, I was making myself another bubble tea, but um, not the tarot one, it was the brown sugar one. But yeah, here I am now just finishing the bits and bobs. So this is like pyjamas, underwear, things like that. I have got more clothes to go through before I put them away. But, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? Your washing's never done as a parent. And, uh, yeah, that was um, my little pile to go into her room. Me getting everything else off the bed. But, yeah, that was it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye.